Hey everyone, coming at you from Japan. Today we're going to look at the equipment used by the U.S. Army in Operation Desert Storm in the early 90s. Most of this gear is the real thing, which I found at a military surplus store in Yokohama. This stuff is really hard to find, especially in Japan. Let's look at the uniform. This is the six color desert BDU. It's made out of 50% cotton and nylon. It's a thick material, so it doesn't seem suitable for desert conditions. I've worn this BDU in the fall and winter to play airsoft, and I found it really blends in well with the brown and tan colors, especially when you wear the boonie hat, which breaks up your outline even more. This is a real PASGT or Pasquet Kevlar helmet. It's pretty heavy, but it is bullet resistant, which will stop a pistol round. Next, let's look at the Alice system. Everything here is real, except a magazine pouch and the canteen. Alice gear was used by the US military before the Molly system. It consists of the LC2 pistol belt, which has a unique hard plastic buckle. And this is the M12 holster by Bianchi, which holds the M9 pistol. The Y suspenders has a compass pouch and it is very comfortable and well balanced. Looking at photos from the period, troops wore green jungle boots before they changed to the desert speed laced boots, which are far easier to put on and get out of. The last thing I got to complete this loadout were these Nomex flight gloves, which were used from the Vietnam War all the way up to the second Iraq War. Overall, I'm very happy to be able to find uh, all this gear uh, in Japan. Even though this uniform is effective in the winter months, uh, because the material is kind of thick, I don't recommend uh, wearing uh, this BDU in the summer months. Thanks for watching this overview of the equipment used in Operation Desert Storm. And on to the next one.